What's up, insiders? I'm Becca, and I'm a product manager on YouTube Discovery. So I work closely with Todd and Rachel and others you've seen here on the channel. And today I'm here to tell you about a new set of features we're building for the YouTube mobile app homepage. So they're not features for Studio, but I hope you'll find them interesting nonetheless. So the new features help viewers discover creators or content that is new to them and help them explore beyond their typical recommendations. And the features are called, yep, you guessed it, new to you. So today I wanna to cover three things. One, why we wanna help viewers explore new content. Two, the features we're building to help do that. And three, how we think this will help creators discover new viewers. So with that, let's get into it. So why help viewers explore something new? Well, a message we've heard from lots of YouTube viewers is that their home feeds feel a little bit stale, meaning they come back to YouTube day to day and they see the same flavor of recommendations that they've seen before. As much as I love the current cast members, I look at my own home feed and I'm like, there's SNL again. It can be easy to feel stuck in the same sort of pattern of homepage recommendations. And we know that as creators, it's really magical when you can connect with a new person who really loves your content, but maybe just hadn't discovered you before. That's a really magical experience for viewers as well. So we designed and envisioned a feature that would help viewers explore outside their typical recommendations while staying personalized to that viewer's particular interests. So what are we actually building? Well, the first feature is called new to you on refresh. So the way that it works is if you open up your YouTube homepage on mobile, see that bar at the top of the screen with various topics? you'll see a colorful option animate to the front of the bar called new to you. And when you tap on it, it will show a set of recommendations that you haven't seen before. So you can scroll around and explore and hopefully find something to watch that will take you beyond what you typically see. The second feature is called the new to you prompt. Now this feature exists because we know that when you pull to refresh, that's not the only moment you might be craving a little bit of exploration. So the way this feature works is it will trigger after you've scrolled down a ways in your feed, but maybe you haven't found something to watch yet. So you'll see an option directly in your feed to tap into this new to you feed. And that will take you right into this set of exploratory recommendations where you can discover new flavors of videos and hopefully new creators. So how will this help creators find new viewers? Some of you might be thinking, this sounds a lot like the Explore page to me. What's the difference? Well, Explore helps viewers on YouTube discover content in specific verticals like gaming or beauty or content that is trending worldwide, but content that is not necessarily personalized to them. In other words, it doesn't take their specific interests into account. But new to you is unique in that it is personalized to the viewer. So we try to take a balance between things we think you might be interested in, plus things that are a bit further afield of what you typically watch. So to share a personal example, I've been really into soundscapes recently. So when I was trying out the new to you feed, I discovered a channel that creates these amazing mashups of vintage classic songs being played on a record player while there's a light rainstorm happening outside. So you're listening to it and it sounds like you're hearing this record being played in another room. It's absolutely amazing and definitely not something I would have discovered without the help of New To You. We're super excited about the way these New To You features will help viewers discover creators that they haven't met yet and for creators to reach new audiences who will love their content. So these features will start rolling out in July with some additions coming in the following months. So keep an eye out. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was helpful. If you have suggestions or ideas for how we can help creators reach new audiences or viewers discover new content, please leave your ideas in the comments. We'd be super pumped to hear from you. And in the meantime, as I always say, A-B-E, always be exploring. Peace.